Hey everybody, welcome back to Raptor Views. We're here today trying out the taco stand. Let's blow this taco stand. Alrighty, so we're over here in La Jolla trying out the California burrito from the taco stand. A lot of talk about this one, so hoping it's good. Hey Gene, you got those specs? Yep. This burrito has carne asada, fries, cheese, guac, and sour cream. It is six and a half inches long, it is 517 grams, and it comes out to a price of $9.26. Alrighty, let's dive in. Those fries are definitely not crisp, but they do have a good taste in them. The thing that sticks out to me immediately is like the shape and texture of the meat. It's not like the flat like carne asada that they have at a, a lot of other places. It's like it's like really chunky. Hmm. It's more like steak. Yeah, yeah. It's like very steaky, very chunky. I think the meat is pretty good though. It has a pretty strong flavor. Definitely tastes a little bit like steak though. So a little different than like normal carne asada, but it's definitely got that coarse black pepper on the steak and on the fries. And it feels like they tenderized it pretty well because it's definitely tender, especially considering the size. What do you guys think about the guac? I'm really liking it. Uh, I think the texture especially, like, it's not like that watery guac that you get at some other places. Like, it has some of that thickness to it, which I really enjoy. I had some of my first bite, and it has some thickness to that as well. Everything about this burrito so far has been very thick. Yeah. There's a lot of lime in the guac too, and uh, I think like everything in this burrito has pretty strong flavor. The fries, um, the pepper adds a lot, and then you got the steak, you got the cheese, the sour cream. Everything's like kind of standing out a lot. Like even though there's a, there's a lot of like similar textures, everything is still like standing out and not like mushing together. I think the thing that's throwing me off is what's well, supposed to be carne asada. It just like I don't know. It just feels like regular like steak. Like it's like very chunky. It doesn't have much of a char to it. It doesn't taste bad by any means. It's just like, it doesn't remind me of like signature like carne asada, you know? I completely agree with what you're saying about the textures, about them still being able to stand out like in their own way with the flavor, despite being all similar. But I think I would appreciate like a little bit more gristle on the carne asada, maybe like to offset that, because it is a bit mushy. I would appreciate a little bit more variety in that department, you know? There's definitely not a lot of like crunchy or harder textures. It's all pretty soft. So, I'm not usually one for like really soft tortillas, but for some reason the one on this is just really hitting with me. It's like nice and soft, but I think it's perfect for this burrito. Yeah, I'm really liking the tortilla a lot too. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they have a little bit more homemade touch to them because they're smaller, so they can put a little bit more effort into it. But tortilla speaks wonders on this burrito. You guys ready for scores? Hmm. You know, it's been a while since they've asked me what score I want to give a burrito. So uh, I give this one a little bit deeper thought, weighed heavily on my decision. I'm going to go with 7.9. Reasons being, flavor was there, tortilla was there, the textures, they were not there. Given that I heavily care about the flavor, but I also don't want to eat anything that's blended or feels like it's blended, that's the reason why I'm not giving that a little bit higher score into the 8 department. But I would, uh, I'd eat this place if I was in the neighborhood. Flavor was there, popping, made me feel good about myself. All right, so Richard over there gave it a 7.9. Some of you guys might be thinking he's being a little, a little harsh. Um, I'm also giving it a 7.9. Uh, this burrito was like very fresh, like the tortilla was soft. Like, I think the ingredients were like, were kind of there. I think it just, it didn't have a lot of flavor for me, honestly, I think, Especially with the meat, the meat just like, it was like very flat, like it didn't really taste like carne asada, it was just kind of like regular steak. Also the fact that it was really chunky I didn't really like, but um, yeah, this this was like pretty good. I would say like if you're in the area, I'd probably choose it over Don Carlos, so uh, take that as you will. Okay, I'm going to give this burrito an 8.3. Um, I think this burrito does a lot of things really well, and it has a few things that it could use some work on. The guac was really, really good. Um, it had a lot of lime, which I like. And the tortilla was really good. 
and all the ingredients were pretty fresh. The fries, I think the texture, really mushy. And I think the meat was pretty inconsistent. I think I generally liked the flavor that it had. I think the texture was a little bit weird. Um, it was definitely more like steak, more like chunky steak. Not really what I, you know, expect in a California burrito, but but yeah, I think this, I think the burrito is pretty good. Um, it has a lot of things that does really well, so um, I, mean, I think it deserves a decent score. Alrighty, so that's gonna be a wrap score of 8.0. As always, check out rapreviews.com. It's got everything you need. Make sure to leave a comment and let us know what we should try next. That's a wrap. Honestly, that place was pretty overrated. Yeah, you're not wrong. Then see you there. Make sure to like the video, right? Then you uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, just making sure. See you next time.